In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I achieved my Bantu knot outs. I was inspired by Tony to do them again. I haven't done them since I transitioned. But I'm going to show you how I create the Bantu knot, take it down, fluff it out, and create a hairstyle. But um, please note I use the breakdown method again. That's what I use when I wash, shampoo, condition my hair, um, finger detangle. Um, but here I'm adding water and I'm working the water through because my hair was almost dry. And then I'm going to take some whipped shea butter absolutely love this stuff whipped shea butter and work that through my hair to seal in the moisture and i'm actually going to have some comparison shots at the end of me using miss jesse's buttercream i got for valentine's day um, compared to this but next i'm going to two strand twist my hair and then i'm going to take my hair and kind of twist it turn it and twist it on itself to wind it up it's going to start to feel like it wants to curl upon itself once it gets uh really tight and that's whenever you start to create the bantu knot what i'm going to do next is actually take my finger and um as a point for me to start to wrap the twist around itself and then all i'm going to do is just wrap it around and wrap it around until it's uh nice and tight and please note with bantu knots the smaller you make them the more definition you're going to have and in those pictures at the end i actually um only did for the ones i did with the miss jesse's buttercream i only had about 15 bantu knots and this one i had about 30 so you're going to see the difference in the definition as well but next i'm going to show you how to take them down i just find the end and i pull it out that's as simple as that i just find it and then I pull it to unravel the twist I'm more careful I pin some of my hair up and I take some of the curls pomade and I put it on the end just in case it's frizzy and then I unravel carefully unravel each twist so that um, I don't make it too puffy and so that it doesn't frizz up that's why again I use the pomade and with the shea butter I did have a nice hold and you can see the definition and the shine in the in the results so now I'm actually going to separate some of the sections so that I have a fuller look and again I have just a little of the pomade on my fingertips and I'm just gonna go through and kind of pull them apart um, some I pulled apart three times, some only twice, and at the end, if it looked a little frizzy, I took some of the pomade and just kind of coiled it, the, the end around my finger to smooth it out. But I did this all over my hair, and these are my results, and I absolutely love how bouncy it is. And, um, it's really light. I only have water and shea butter in my hair other than the leave-in conditioner whenever I detangled. But, um, these are the results and I'm very, very pleased. And now I'm going to show you how I achieved this hairstyle. This hairstyle was very easy to do. All I did was use large and small bobby pins to pin my hair over on the side, um, to fit however I liked it. Basically, um, the large bobby pins keep my hair in place because my hair is so thick. I purchased those at uh, Sally's a while back. I no longer have the container, so I can't tell you the brand at this moment. But next time I go to Sally's and pick some more up, I will be sure to let you guys know. So again, basically, I pinned my hair on the side, starting at the top, going down to the bottom. And I adjusted it based on how it looked in the mirror. And next I'm going to take some of the curls pomade and I'm going to uh, smooth my edges down on the sides, which is usually what I do after each style. Um, I hope you guys like the results. I love the Bantu knot outs. I love the um, definition I get with this. So I may be doing these and a few more styles with Bantu knot outs in the near future. So here are the comparisons between the Miss Jessie's Bantu knot out and the one done with the whipped shea butter. Again, with the Miss Jessie's, I only did 15 Bantu knots and with the whipped shea butter, I did 30. But you can um, see the difference in the definition based on how many I did. But I wanted to compare these because I know Miss Jessie's buttercream is an expensive product and I wanted to show that you could achieve this style just using shea butter, um, a simple whipped shea butter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys are missing us um, from YouTube, remember you can find us, like our Facebook page, follow us on Tumblr and we're also on Instagram at My Natural Sisters. So guys, thank you for watching and God bless.